I'm making chicken stroganoff. I roasted a chicken last night and set aside some of that for the stroganoff today. And here are some of the ingredients and I'll have all of those listed in the description below. And like I said, the chicken is already cooked, but I'm going to brown it up in some olive oil and butter and add some seasonings and just get that mixed together and combined well. And then I'll take that out of the pot and set it aside and begin with the other ingredients. As the chicken was browning, I sliced up some baby bella mushrooms. I'd say that's probably about 16 ounces. And then after I remove the chicken from the pot, I'll saute the mushrooms. And I'm also going to go ahead and start boiling some noodles and just cook those according to the package directions. Also, if you prefer, you could serve this with rice. Now that I'm getting the chicken out of the pot, I'm going to go ahead and put about two tablespoons more of olive oil and another tablespoon of butter. You can use any oil you prefer. And I know this looks like a lot of mushrooms, but trust me, they cook down tremendously. So after the mushrooms have cooked for a few minutes and cooked down and have softened, then I'm going to add in about, um, it's a small onion. It can be anywhere from small to medium, finely diced and I'll just saute that for a little bit and then I'll add two to three cloves of finely minced garlic and you can add the, the minced garlic that uh, you can buy in a jar or fresh garlic if you have it and then um, you may need to do as I did I added a little more butter because it was getting a little too dry now add in about a quarter cup of flour and cook that for about two to three minutes, just enough to make sure there isn't any flour taste left. And since I pre-cooked the chicken, it's really going to be a quick recipe. It's not going to take very long at all. And after I've cooked it for two or three minutes to make sure the flour taste is out, then I'm going to add in one cup of broth and you can add chicken broth, beef broth, or actually one cup of dry white wine. Any of those work just fine. So just continue cooking and stirring and you'll see that this begins to thicken up. And now you're going to add in about one and a half teaspoons of mustard. I'm using Dijon mustard. That's all I've ever used in this so I don't know if just regular yellow mustard would be okay. I think it's just a matter of preference. And then add in a half a cup of heavy cream and a half a cup of sour cream. Mix those all well and continue cooking for just another two or three minutes until this is thick. And then you're going to add back in your pre-cooked chicken. Stir that up to mix it well and coat all of the chicken and add in your cooked noodles after you've drained those. So at this point, you're really done. Just mix everything together till it's well incorporated and it's ready to serve. Also, you don't have to add the noodles into the stroganoff. You can just put those on your plate separately and then put your stroganoff on top of the bed of noodles, just whatever you prefer. So this is all done, plated up serve it and enjoy. Thank you so much for stopping by and as always, I'll see you next time.